Hey everybody, it's Addie Broyles with another Austin 360 Taste Test. And today I have Lily Rockwell, who is a city and government reporter for the Statesman. Hello. And a longtime vegetarian, which is going to be helpful because we are trying some veggie burgers and meat alternatives today. I'm excited. They so you, good. you already have a favorite veggie burger. I do. Well, I just am used to Morningstar. That's what yeah. I always buy. Yeah. It's the thing I know to reach for. And I'm excited about this because I want to try different kinds. Which do you want to try first, the traditional or the totally untraditional? Totally untraditional. Okay, Let's so this is that. a company called Meat, and they this is a, a it's a powdered product made out of ground pecans and garbanzo beans, and so you mix it with eggs or an egg substitute, and then you fry it up in a pan. <laughs> and so I tried to make links because they have a sausage flavored one, and then yeah, they have meat? a um, patty. So we're gonna try this. Uh, while I'm letting okay. you get into that, I'll explain these dipping sauces. Here's another new, you know, vegetarian product that's come out this year called Just Mayo, and it has an egg substitute from, I believe it's Hampton Creek. Yeah, Hampton Creek, and they're big movers and shakers in the the egg oh, this is tasty. world. Do you like that? Yeah, I'm trying the sausage link. It's really good. I it's like good. it. You can definitely taste the nuttiness, mm -hmm. but in a good way. So the texture is certainly a little off. It doesn't quite have the fat content of like a traditional sausage. I will clarify that for me, since I've been a vegetarian my whole life, I never compare meat alternatives to actual meat. Mm -hmm. So for me, I just really judge it on, you know, the flavor and texture like Would any you other get it again? Yeah. Right. Um, I'm going to dip some in one of these little mayos. So uh, the mayos come in uh, garlic, regular, and chipotle. And I've been eating this chipotle flavor quite a bit. I'm no mayo expert. I mean mayo for like the first 20 years of my life. Um, but I like them. Oh, real good. Yeah. Good yeah, sauces. Good. Lots of flavor. Um, okay, let's try the hamburger. So with the, the neat mixes, yeah. you just mix the egg and water, and then you form it into patties um, oh with your hand. And it's, you know, pretty similar to the sensation of making patties out of ground beef. It's pretty sticky. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I really like this one too. I will say it's a very similar texture to this, and it's almost like a bready mm -hmm. texture to me. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine that on a hamburger bun? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. A little ketchup. I like the flavor of the hamburger. The it's called the original, um, mm -hmm. better than the flavor of the sausage, I would say. But what I like about this both, kind of stuff. Both are good to me. Yeah. The um, like especially for meat eaters, I eat meat. Um, but to make it in chili or sloppy joes, or to maybe only do half a pound of ground meat. And then supplement it with others. This is, you know, reducing meat consumption is clearly a hot button issue. Um, Definitely. But I think a lot of meat eaters are trying to reduce their consumption. So these are some good options. Thumbs up on this one. I like that. Good. So the other thing, that one more thing about meat. Um, most, you know, vegetarian veggie burgers or, or even oh, meat so analogs nice. are made with soy or pea proteins. And this company is notable because there's no soy in this product, which is, if you're trying to cut back on soy. That's true. It's, it's, um, it's different to find a veggie burger that's not soy-based. Yeah. Okay, so these are ooh, veggie burgers made with uh, one traditional and one totally untraditional ingredients. Um, Dr. Prager's has a black bean burger and a new kale veggie burger. Put kale in it, if in doubt. All right, <laughs> right. go for it. So these are baked in the oven. Which was what they had recommended in the package. Oh, wow. Mmm. It's a very different, of course, texture and mm -hmm. flavor from the other one. And you definitely, you know, can tell it's kale. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's good. I do really like that. I mean, you're not going to fool anybody into thinking it's a hamburger. Or even a, you know, fake yeah. hamburger. But that's the thing I like about veggie burgers in general. Like black, like black bean burgers or quinoa burgers. Some of them are just really delicious. Right, on its own. On their own. Yeah, you yeah. would never... You know, confuse this with meat no. or yeah, and I don't even know if I put that on a bun. I guess you could put it on a bun. Yeah. yeah, you could. An English muffin. You could. It looks like it might be the kind of oh. burger that can get a little sloppy and yeah. fall apart, which is something that I a notice little. a lot with veggie burgers, um, especially homemade ones at restaurants. Mm -hmm. The big flaws they tend to fall apart yeah. really this easily. This one is pretty fragile. And this one would probably do that. Could you imagine frying that in a pan too? It would probably fall apart pretty quickly. Yeah. All right. Oh, but this black bean burger has a lot more substance. But I don't really see a whole lot of black beans. A little bit. I think the maybe it's held together with some rice or quinoa. Okay. Mm. Mm. I really like the flavor of that one. Yeah. 
I still think that is my personal favorite. Really? Yeah. But this one, you know, again, you can tell it's made from beans. Mm -hmm. like, there's no surprises there. Mm -hmm. These definitely have um, more interesting, or to me, interesting consistency, where it's there are all kinds of different things that are mixed in there. I mean, this is sort of, it's all going to be the same throughout. So you're not going to have the little pieces of corn or black bean or... Or bread. Right, and that makes sense for just my personal preferences because right. I kind of like that that breadiness to these burgers. Yeah. Whereas if you want different consistencies, definitely go for more of these. Well, these are smaller; they're frozen. Oh. You know, this this is interesting because you actually get to make them, so you could do all kinds of things with it, crumble it up for um, right, super. yeah, lots of options. Um, any thoughts about? We didn't really get to very much of the. I really like this mayo. Do you eat mayo regularly? I actually do. I'm yeah. a mayo fan, so it's good. And would you have known if I served that mayo to you? Would you have known that it didn't uh -uh. have any eggs in it? I wouldn't have known at all. So I'd like say that's a pretty mayo. good recommendation. Well, thanks, Lily, for joining us. No problem. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs>